Mike Stanton. It's December 8th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. Uh, so another week of kind of uh, most of the week was a uh, continuing rally in municipal bond yields. Yields trended lower. And then we got a surprise this morning with the November jobs report. What did we learn? Sure, Mike. Um, so the market saw another week of strong activity. It still seems to be focused on the Fed's next move. Uh, not so much at the meeting next week, but as we move into 2024. At the moment, the market is expecting the Fed to hold interest rates for a third straight meeting next week as they continue to monitor economic growth and inflation data as we move into the new year. Uh, this morning, the market digested the non-farm numbers, which we saw come in at 199,000 versus the estimate of 185,000 and last month's 150,000. The unemployment rate dropped to 3.7% versus an estimate of 3.9%. And it seemed the market took the stronger than expected jobs report as a sign that perhaps the rate cuts from the Fed aren't going to be as soon as you know originally thought. We saw treasuries sell off across the curve this morning on the back of the numbers with the 10 year around a 425 and the 30 year around a 433 at the time of the video on Friday morning. And not a massive miss necessarily compared to expectations, but I think when you've seen the kind of rally you've seen, you know, you, the, the term price for perfection comes to mind. Um, and so uh, when you get a surprise like that, it does uh, force people to rethink. What about in the muni market? Uh, any immediate reaction? Usually it's a little bit more delayed. Sure. So on the muni side, just kind of for the week, we saw slight outflows this week and, you know, the strong bid wanted activity continued. Munis ended the week anywhere from seven to 10 basis points tighter across the curve as of this morning. And, you know, a big new issue calendar this week. Um, it was busy. It was right around 12 billion, which wasn't super surprising to see as issuers have been avoiding, um, you know, the Fed meeting weeks kind of like next week. So we saw people trying to come, you know, kind of ahead of that week. BAM saw a nice activity pricing around 350 million across 22 series in 14 states. And a few deals to highlight here were a 72 million Warren County, Mississippi deal, which was priced by Siebert, and a 40 million Board of Education of West Holmes local school district in Ohio, which was priced by Stiefel. And on the technical side, we saw uh, modest outflows, uh, just over $100 million in net outflows from municipal bond mutual funds. It's interesting that even given the, the sharp move in rates uh, over the last month and the strong total returns posted in the muni market for the month of November, we're still not seeing those retail investors uh, flocking back to the market. We'll have to keep seeing that. That'll be a story to uh, watch into 2024. Um, this coming week might be the last week of heavy uh, volume for this year. We're hearing some rumors that some deals might uh, stretch into that week of December 18th. But uh, what are you looking at the calendar for next week? Sure. So as of right now, it looks to be about four and a half billion, which is definitely lighter than what we saw this week, but um, still pretty good activity for a Fed week. And a deal that we'll be watching here at BAM is the 200 million Greater Texoma Utility Authority in Texas, which is being priced by Baird. And then we'll keep our fingers crossed for uh, the following week to have you know some activity in the primary market prior to the last week of the year, which should be you know very quiet. I know the Greater Texoma Utility Authority folks are uh, very excited. They were honored as the small issuer deal of the year by the bond buyer last week. We had the opportunity to meet with a lot of them and the Baird uh, financing team here in New York at the dinner. So uh, they're coming back. The original transaction, which BAM also insured, was for water treatment. This is for wastewater treatment. And again, uh, what's going on up in uh, Sherman, Texas, is a massive investment in the semiconductor industry uh, led by uh, uh, projects tied to the Inflation Reduction Act. So uh, major in industrial uh, investment and in growth in the community. And uh, BAM is uh, proud to play a part in supporting that. So thanks for your time this week, Morgan. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike. Have a good weekend.